Hey, this is Jim McDonald. Welcome to episode 109 of the PowerCast. Uh, this episode is Mike Rashid and Omar Isov, whom we threw together at the last minute, as I mentioned last week. Um, threw together at the last minute, they just met, and boom, we threw them into an episode, and they were great. Um, I like to point out that this, this piece of shit right here is uh, Omar's uh, microphone that he uses all the time. It's held together with uh, tape. So I don't know if you guys need to buy more of Omar's stuff or what, but um, Homeboy needs a new microphone. Uh, remember our sponsors for this episode, howmuchbench.net, thepowermagazine.com, cavemancoffeeco.com, shopcompex.com, and uh, Rogue Fitness. So Rogue Fitness, please use the link thepowercast.com slash rogue to go to Rogue Fitness. And uh, this week's, actually last week's contest winner will appear right here when I've actually chosen the person. Um, I haven't done that yet. I'm shooting this a little bit in advance. I said it would run through the 8th, and so it will. Um, and I will just drop that in when I produce this episode. Uh, so this week's contest, you're going to win a slingshot of your own, either a red or a blue, or I think a yellow, red, blue, yellow, not black, red, blue, yellow, slingshot. So what I want you to do is choose your favorite episode, period, to this point. I want you to throw that up on Instagram. Be sure that you're following the PowerCast, at Mark Bell's PowerCast, tag the PowerCast, and tell me why you like that episode, and tag five friends, five friends who you think would benefit from listening to it, okay. who may or may not already be listeners, but you think should listen to that episode. And uh, that will run through whatever the fuck next Tuesday is. Uh, and on we go. Oh yeah. Also, likes, shares, sub this channel. Ask your friends to subscribe to this channel. Like. Silent Mike is going to have more subscriptions than this channel, and this channel has been up since 2006, real soon. I understand he's the Red Fucking Ranger and all, but please share this episode, all the episodes. Ask your friends to subscribe because, come on. It's all guys who... Well, that was great last night, Mark. Super training oh, yeah. gym yeah. in yeah. West that new jacuzzi and pool. California. I can't believe we wiped the out our internet. The strongest gym in the West. <laughs> this I don't know what that mean, but it is Mark Bell's <laughs> we, the the internet. we broke. We, we broke it. Needless to say, Mark's wife is mad at me. Uh, ThePowerMagazine.com. You just follow me on Periscope now? What? I thought we were deeper friends than that, bro. I didn't know you had Periscope. Now you're fucking shop. You don't even do it. At, like, oh, I do it. Oh, do you? I fucking do you. When, when's Jim the last time? I do it. It's every Here's Sunday. Your host. You do every Sunday. Q and A. Why do you have so few followers then? Because I'm a loser. That has nothing well, to do with me okay, not using it. Well, not. All right. Well, I mean, this got serious. It's recording all this. Yeah, I know. The, the first the first 50 minutes of the 50 minute powercast is a waste and then the 50 minutes last 5 of minutes. The 50 minute yeah. powercast? Yeah, it's pretty much all. Dude, we've been away. doing 2 hour deep ass podcast. 2 hours? Yeah. 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 How long they we expanded from an hour Balls to 2 deep. hours? People Balls have deep. real yeah. stories. They've nothing tell us. but the nuts hanging out. People have real stories to the, tell us Omar Asma. The, I got nothing. Okay, what do the, you want to know? Well, then the you last, just sit here and be quiet, Mike Rashid. Yeah, here we go. Please tell us. Yeah, he's in the middle. Got nothing to say. The last one nice story. <laughs> nice, nice. How about a poop story? You got any poop stories? You ever blow one out during squats or anything? Nah, that's never set, happened. Heavy set of hammer curls or something? Yeah, when man. I take my morning poops, my dog sits oh, by the door. Oh, he just you're hangs morning, out? You're a morning nah. pooper. Uh, Dogs yeah, are kind of like that. Sit right there hey, wait like, a second. Bro. So this, if you're a morning pooper, how do you... You have morning wood usually, right? Yes. Okay, and then how do you manage the morning poop with the morning wood? I mean, it goes down at some point. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, morning wood it. doesn't turn into afternoon wood. It you got to gotta wait it out. Disappointed. I'm not <laughs> like I'm not comfortable. In, oh, like, never I like mind, to, Mike. I like to train around eleven. <laughs> Omar, 12. what you doing later? <laughs> if I don't, if I don't have that morning movement, I'm like, hold on, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get no. some coffee or something. Yeah. It's a movement. It's a movement, baby. Yeah, it's <laughs> important. It's, it's like not just isn't. taking a <laughs> shit. It's a movement. It's a bowel movement. There's an orchestra playing. It is. Dun 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 dun. Symphony. Smell it, you clear, don't poop in the morning? You gotta clear it up. I poop nonstop all day long. Well, I know, but what you... Morning, you, you I heard you in the bathroom night. next to me, man. 
we have a cat you categorized poor Mike over here. Oh, you're a morning pooper, one of yeah, those. Yeah. Like everybody poops in the morning, right? I yeah, one of those guys. You yeah, should. I think so too. Morning shower, yeah. night shower. Both. Yeah. Depending on We could live together the I nights. No. I mean if you really want activities. to. Activities. The only the only if real you offer question it first. Yeah. Is if yeah. you if you shit after you shower, you gotta get out the fuck out of the gym. That's weird. Wait, if so you what? Shit. You have to shit then shower. If you shower yeah, then but, shit, but what you if can. one sneaks up on? Are y'all, are y'all oh, yeah. like? Well, then I you shower again. You're, you're thinking, you're thinking like, way too much. No, no, you're no talking like about your butthole basically. Yeah, like that. Like yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'll do public. I, I oh, oh, I don't. I don't, public. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Fuck yeah, that paper. I mean, some toilet paper needs to go down on the seat because you don't have to start. Well, other than that, yeah, you never know. Hey, do what you gotta do. Yeah, I like I nice bathrooms though. So like where do you, you go? Gotta, do you do? You, are you a connoisseur of fine gotta, bathrooms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you Google Mark, Mark it? Is there a review website? There should be. That should be an app. Like good places. Like, no, yeah, just a million dollar idea. Poop good idea places right to yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Dot com. Yeah. When I gotta go, I don't give a shit. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, when, when it has got you, you, you give a shit. You I give, give a big a shit, old shit. Yeah. I don't care about the conditions. <laughs> I gotta be literal with you guys here. Yeah, but Starbucks like has nice bathrooms. It's a one person deal. It's typically pretty clean. Shout out to Starbucks. Like, right, well, <laughs> Come shit. on in. I mean, whatever, if you got to wash your hands, whatever. <laughs> nah, that McDonald's. shit happens. That's what? Great, what happens? Dude. I don't know. You're in there. Some bathrooms are weird. They'll have a, a it'll be one man or a private, one female. We have a lady in the room. I don't want to mm. be all whatever. So they'll have a toilet and a urinal, but it's only made for one person. That's like, a little weird. Nah. But is it made for one person? I, I think, think so. Because there's no like, for. or is there a party inside there? <laughs> you know what oh, I mean? that, yeah. Well, well, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but well, if you're at a bar though, and it's like people uh, don't give a fuck. It's like yeah, it's like 1 a.m. People don't I, care. Yeah, I'd no. rather. I care. But it'd be great if someone was in there taking a shit and you took a piss. Weird. Like, I'd rather I shit in care. public than piss in public. Oh. Because pissing like the urinals is piss. Fuck yeah. Oh, it splashes back on you. That, I thought you meant it's yeah. all over the floor. Yeah. I thought you were, I mean, you were worried about being judged. I'd be standing right here. No. Hey. I'm like, watch out, watch out. You get a lot of this, Mike, over the urinal? Like, hey. I'm like, hey. Oh, it's Mike Rasheed. <laughs> <laughs> you just turn <laughs> facing that. I'm like, like what's what's oh. What's up? What's up? oh, hey, yeah, you trying to sneak a peek over here? Hey now, that's poop weird. The world, God. apparently, yeah. Apparently, there's an app called Poop the World that tells you it, the best places to poop. Beat you to it. Yeah, that's good, man. It. It's yeah. not popular though. We could can make a millionaire. We can make a popular one. That's I a gross did. logo. <laughs> that's just gross. It's a piece of shit on top of the world. It's got a shit emoji. <laughs> yeah, that's on top horrible. Of the world emoji. Like, you get a sponsorship deal with them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh well, well yeah. yeah. Instagram, hey y'all. It's I'm like shout out my sponsors. <laughs> they say how many downloads it has. Poop the world. No, it doesn't. Look out for me when I'm in New York. They let me know. Customer reviews five out of five. Poop ladies and gentlemen. It's Customer, an app. Yeah, I download the app. Poop. Amazing. The poop app. Mm. That's probably gross pictures or something. My kids would like shit like that. Yeah, that's funny. Poop sounds. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, there's a, a Gold's Gym in, uh, what's it, uh, Hermosa Beach. That's a good. That's a good place to take a shit because they, come, they go in there and they blast the whole thing out with a hose. Like they, they uh, the whole bathroom is tile. Like a cattle ranch? So yeah, they just, just go in there, they throw soap everywhere and they just blast the whole thing. It's it's uh, nice and sparkly clean every time you go there. I think recommendations. I, oh yeah, yeah. I used highly to be, recommend. I it. used to be more bougie with bathrooms before I lived in the Middle East. All right, we're white. And Explain what that word means. Bougie, <laughs> bourgeois. Uh, like I cared about the conditions of the mm, bathroom. You want it to be fancy. <laughs> it's very nice of you to speak French when Omar's here. That's kind. <laughs> You're nice. open. Yeah, yeah. 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 Bourgeois. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey. We yeah. say so. Yeah. But uh, well, but yeah, French Canadian for your ass. The bathrooms be like the Language holes in the fucking. Oh yeah, you, you got to squat. So I'm like, fuck it. it. You give me a porta potty out here, I'm good. Porta potties are fucking gross. Oh, disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I took a show in an airport airplane one time. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Yeah, that's tough. That's couldn't. tough. No. And I was scared. I didn't think it would flush. Like you know, <laughs> what if you got trapped in there? Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Doors but, locked. Hey, but me and Mars, we always sit like. I got a lot of miles, so I always upgrade the first class. What's up with you and Mars? So I fucking went <laughs> to the back. I go all the way to the back, so nobody, you know what mm. I mean? Like, fuck it. Hey, it's so funny. It's there. so funny on airplanes, like in first class, how when somebody try to walk up. Oh, I love that. And they be like, no, sir. Get you your know. broke ass out of here, motherfucker. <laughs> they be like, I love that shit. Oh, like, we, don't, we don't want your shit up here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're kind of shit not welcome up here. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, but I really have to go. They're like, I don't give a uh, fuck. Okay. Get out of here right now. I'm going to make you. a union for people in the back to not let first class people come back. <laughs> come back there. Yeah, you ain't coming back here taking a poop, bastard. Son but that's bitch. that's some fucked up shit though, right? It make people feel like shit. You know? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then they close the curtain on people like, oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. What's going on? Yeah. They basically almost boot your ass out of there. <laughs> that's fucked up. Or what about when you're getting on the plane and you have to walk? You have to walk through the first class to go to the coach. Like that guy has a line. And they're, not, and they're not looking at you. They're like, <laughs> Yeah, they're all yeah. I'm like fuck you. <laughs> I think that's the worst idea. Really, the yeah. people
Yeah, you're late. They're you're just laughing. Yeah. Like, look at these yeah. pieces of yeah. shit. They should keep you in the bar, and then it's like signaling you when it's time to get Yeah, somebody come and get you. Yeah, yeah. VIP. VIP access. What are you guys doing? What do we got going on here? Why, why are you in uh, California, Omar Ass Muffin? Well, I moved down here. What? I now live in your mansion. Oh, my. oh you do? Are we saying this which, publicly? Uh, which wing are you staying in, buddy? I haven't seen you. The main floor? The chicken oh, wing. Yeah. The chicken wing. Yeah. Oh, the buffalo yeah. wing. Oh, my God. I almost died. <laughs> yeah, made yourself right almost died. I know. I was, drink, I was, pretty I was good. drinking I, water, and I knew I needed to get that in. So. Everything you've said, literally, I've taken, you know, to heart where you said I'm like oh yeah I came down last time supposed to stay for the weekend and I'm like oh this is pretty good I want to film some more content you said stay as long as you want pal <laughs> and then and now, I just, and now you I'm, signed I'm, a 10 year again. lease yeah you don't even know wow that's crazy. Yeah. How long have you been in my house for? Uh, <laughs> about a year. Since, oh, wow. Yeah. Since oh, okay. January. Since oh, January, okay. yeah. He's right. grown. He's gotten oh. taller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on with the you fucking Cocoa Puffs. Yeah. The, the clothesline. Like Jake is really going yeah. through those Cocoa Puffs like crazy, yeah. but he, now I understand. He had just an extra door installed, so he's got a separate entrance. Yeah, like, you don't even know. Yeah, yeah. Your house is so big, he's you don't even know elevator. where I am. The elevator. Hating up that elevator. Getting stuck in there. Slanger Mansion. Yeah. Slangers. A new pool. You got any uh, business here in California? Absolutely just, nothing. Just YouTube no and idea. just kicking it and just chilling? Just kicking it. Just having fun. You going to uh, LA with your boyfriend over there? Uh, we don't want to call it that. Yeah. It's a, it's I don't titles. like labels. Yeah. It's a yeah, I don't like labels. Mm. Yeah. Bromance might be the word. Whatever. Mm. It is yeah. what it is. Interesting. G- Janae said gender fluid, so... Mm. Bro fluid. Bro fluid. Uh, I don't want to talk bro about fl- any bro fluid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was that? Gender, yeah. gender, gender, gender fluid. fluid. Yeah. It's a, fluid. It's a uh, spectrum. Yeah. Fluid. Yeah. Mm, it's a spectrum. Word. Yeah, fluid. Fluid be. implies a lot. Fluid yeah. and moist. There's right. not any uh, good fluid. It's not. None. Anything <laughs> from the human body is disgusting. Most of it. Yeah. 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 Disgusting. That's kind of true. Unless you emit magic or something like magic that. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. magic. Yeah. Yeah. Every time well, I that that off, yeah. <laughs> and, and then there's a gathering. Oh, oh, yeah. Magic, magic gathering. gathering. <laughs> 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 okay. Jim had his coffee this morning. <laughs> Jim is on point. Oh, Jim, what do you want to talk about? I don't, you know, there's actually, so many serious topics lately, you know, uh, the last couple power casts. So don't act. Don't try to suck up to us like I, you listen no, to our no, shit. I don't. I don't. I think it's horrible. I want to say this. I don't know why I'm here. I'm like, like, you know, y'all my boys, so I'll be checking in. But now I'm like, I gotta see what's on the podcast. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Awesome. Like, that's it'd be, awesome. it'd be some good fucking content. Like, well, since, consistently. Since you guys were on um, earlier in the year, we've had some just really amazing ones to me. Like, I get the message. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Since well, we've been on, no, it's I mean, been it's now, gotten better. Now, now, uh. now, Mike had some amazing moments in the one he, when he was on before. Mm. Um, like, we we uh, were mesmerized for a little bit. Some of the things you talked about and the way that you talked about them was like. Okay, this guy's deep as fuck. We didn't get this before. Why didn't right. we know? Right. But he's deep as fuck, and he's had a lot of experiences. And I went Adrian Larson, Tate Fletcher when Tate and and, and Keith were here. Tate yeah. took us places like we right. I never thought we were going to go on yeah, the show. He had a lot of cool shit. He did amazing stuff. Um, Ed Cohn always, you know, awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the last few here, um, my my boy Will, that was a lot of that one really touched a lot of people. People right. told me that they like cried during that show. I was like, yeah. I, I don't get it. I only lived through it. I don't I don't understand right. exactly that emotional impact. But and then Janae, that yeah. one was, um, it was crazy. That was a journey. It's heavy. It was heavy. I, I listened to that one more than I have probably any were other you, ones. Were you crying on that beginning intro? No, I was just sweaty. It was hot in here when I recorded that. Oh, he's crying. I'm going to cry, too. (laughs) No, no. That'd be great. No. It's not tears in my eyes. I mean, what you said was real. It was so real, man. And, you know, it's like, I'm feeling. I'm seeing a bro. 30 years ago, people would be (laughs) talking a lot of shit, you know, and I feel like one thing that I... I, I kind of like with society, I feel like people are becoming more progressive, a little yeah. more intelligent, you know what I mean? Yeah. And intelligent yeah. in that being more accepting of people. Right. You know? Because if a person feel a certain way, who are any of us to tell them not? No, that's wrong. Yeah. That's bullshit. You can't, yeah. you can't do that. Yeah, I think no, the I more agree. intelligent uh, we become and the more confident we become, the less we bother with what other people are doing. Right. right. If you're right. confident in what you're doing and you, you're educated or intelligent, who gives yeah. a fuck what? Right. It's right. not affecting us. I got to say, too, that, that Janae, you know, I mean, we knew we knew Janae as Matt and just the nicest person in the world. Mm-hmm. I had breakfast with Matt. And you had breakfast with Matt. And, and then, then podcast with Janae. And then I, I, I spent a long time it talking um, after we were done with the podcast to Janae. And, and, you know, it's 
it's just as much the real person. Right. That I just it, the name's different, and right. the the like outlook on on how life is going to go is mm-hmm. different. I mm-hmm. guess like like what what are my relationships going to be like, right. and what what is his impact? What what's the impact going to be? But um, well, he definitely has nothing to hide. No, you know no. she has nothing to hide. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a very open about that's one. a liberating thing in itself. Not having anything to hide. Right. It's like yeah, oh, here it is. It helps know. become more relatable. Yeah. Right. There's been rem- remarkably little hater comment mm-hmm. on on the pod on the full podcast. I think right. there was some on was the excerpt some. that was yeah. on the week before, mm-hmm. but the full podcast is and all of our social media in general has been very positive right. about that. Right. People just people get it. You know what people it is? Understand. They see you guys because people are followers to an extent, right? right? But when you have leaders who are you know leading by example and doing the right things making it cool to be accepting and, and intelligent or what right. have you, then they're like, okay, I can, yeah. you know, I had a conversation with, uh, with, with, uh, Kylie Green. I was trying not to name drop. Really <laughs> <laughs> yeah, earlier, and, uh, yeah. But nah, but Kylie Green is a fuck, <laughs> like the, the average person will look at him and be like, oh, this is a fucking act. Right. Right. But, but shit, me and him, we just, in passing, we, we fucking talk for like two hours. Mm-hmm. In the middle of his training, you know what I mean. The dude is heavy, like, and I was like, "This is what, like, the society." I mean, this is my little opinion, and all of the followers or fans <clears throat> or whatever, they need to see. They need people like you or like me or like us to make the good shit cool, make yeah. real shit cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Versus being just even on a, a small level of that, like I've heard people tweet at us or whatever, like. I think it's cool, like you guys don't like drink or promote like partying super heavy. Right. Like that made it cool, and that yeah. makes it easier for me exactly. not to do it. Right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Right. You need long cool hair is cool. You nice don't... eyebrows are cool. Right. Right. That's important. Yeah, that's important. You're leading yeah. the way, buddy. Long yeah. hair don't care. You don't imagine, drink. If, imagine if you <laughs> mixed uh, Omar's eyebrows with Mike Rashid's eyelashes. Oh, and wow. then and then put a little spin. We're talking about the, Princess Jasmine the skin, or something. The skin, <laughs> the skin color tone together. Halfway. Okay. Yeah, halfway in between. What about the wiener? Like mocha. Hold yeah. on before oh, you sorry, get sorry. before you, you get, get too, excited. Yeah. Before you get too big of a boner. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, we we mix the lips a little bit. You know, mm-hmm. I think I think there could be some possibilities mm-hmm. there as well. He's gonna name someone. I'm going? I know. It, yeah. <laughs> and uh, let's see, what else can we do? I think. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I think that would be we're halfway to Beyonce. Halfway to Beyonce. Yeah. I don't know. That would be hot. <laughs> We're going places. And you guys should make. Go. You guys should make babies. Yeah. I mean, Thanks for the suggestion. That's got to be possible yeah. with stem cells and all this shit oh, going yeah. on. Yeah. Now it takes two dudes. No one's genetic. That, that is no one's fucking gonna ridiculous. Gonna ridiculous. Man, yeah, is is some wrong gonna come out of that? Two yeah. Yeah. <laughs> two like guys a, genetics like in the world. Two centaur mad cow disease. Yeah. Centaur I think, human baby uh, yeah, without mermaids being, or something. Without being too weird, I think they're doing that. Like, can't you choose your guys? Your child's eye color. Sometimes I feel like if they do try to splice men's. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you talked about becoming more accepting. Do you accept his mascara that he's wearing right now? Yeah. What do you think? You know, to each his own. You know, it's <laughs> not my thing. Okay. Yeah. You know? Why do we feel we're putting it's, you on the spot, funny, though? It's, funny. it's very accepting. Well, I, I, feel, I, I feel you're not accepting. <laughs> <laughs> if we're being open. Yeah, you are, all, like, you yeah. are acting strange about I, it. Yeah. I had a homeboy. He I, had, I uh, sent Sension. One of my boys, he had like these light brown eyes, right? I was like, damn, he probably getting all the girls. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then. You I can name thought, drop. I never His thought nothing of it. I never thought nothing of it, right? So then he was from Chicago. Then one of his boys came into town, right? He had the same fucking eyes. I'm like, wait a minute. Wait, color wait, contacts. Wait. They had on color contacts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was so Omar blind. knows all the tricks. <laughs> to me, that you was do what so, you gotta do. It was so bizarre. Like, why? Why? Like, why do you do that, bro? Do it like, all for the damn. pussy. Yeah. I didn't know. What are you, Limp Biscuit? No I didn't look at him the same no more. What's that? Are you Limp Biscuit? <laughs> <laughs> Brick stuff. A limp what? A chain. Do it all for the nookie? <laughs> yeah. Come on. The nookie. <laughs> so, Ask Muffin, you're here for Talk to me. your boy for you. who's lifting uh, at and the boss. The boss is me, right? This is very true. Shout out to Jeremy Hamilton. Yeah, yeah he's competing uh, 220 first time raps in your raps, oh actually. Oh, my God. In your knee raps. That's yeah. Cool. And he's, uh, I think he's competing alongside Dan Green. He's going, you know, trying to perform his best. He recently cool. had Rum 8. He did, like, 2017. Damn. It was, like, second of Sleeves, all time. right? Yeah, with sleeves. So he literally, uh, you sent it like four months ago, the knee wraps. Mm-hmm. Well, I did. And he puts it, or Mike, Mike did. Good hey, job. Mike, great job. Thanks, Good pal. Job, yeah. Mike. And uh, yeah, he just wrapped himself and whatnot. And now, yeah, the squats have been going great. And actually, we're going down. Mike so and I to watch it tomorrow. he works out the same gym as you, right? Yeah, Fortis Fitness. It's like the powerlifting kind of athletic gym in Toronto. Jim, cool. he would be, when you want to talk about a great guest, I suck. Like, I don't know why I'm here. I but agree. he would be a great guest. 
Jeremy. Jeremy, the, uh, Jeremy, the owner also. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Oh, yeah, Sean. Sean Kelly. He has stories. You talked about Dirk Diggler, Boogie Nights. He has them all. It's like next level. That's awesome. Next he's, level. He's just one of those guys that's always fired up. Oh, yeah. He's like 49, still powerlifting, right. still jacked. Yeah. And then you just moved on to doing some Olympic lifting, right? This is very true. How some hard herking is and that? jerking. How hard is that shit? Feels horrible. Uh, doesn't, like, it's, uh, it's the mobility. Coach? I do. So uh, A couch? Uh, I do. Another <laughs> another couch. So uh, the dude that coaches the Maple Leafs, uh, Brian Marshall, he's he used to train Maple Leafs, he, strength coach, That's strength coach. Cool. I didn't know that. Um, but he uh, he was really good at Olympic lifting. He used to train at Fortis Fitness, and I always said to myself, I want to do weightlifting for a long time. I just think it's you know it's athletic, it's powerful, it's a lot of yeah, really it looks cool fucking things. hard to be honest. Yeah. Like, I've never even messed with it. And so I waited a while before because there's not many good coaches out there, right? So I wanted to get coached by him. So I waited a while. In the interim, I started doing some powerlifting because that's what everyone else was doing, some strength training. But, yeah, I transitioned over. I made that transition. Hey and now. it's been feeling really good. Yeah, I feel really good about it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited, man. Transitioning from a powerlifter to yeah. an Olympic lifter. Yeah. Ever, watch, yeah, <laughs> ever since watching Transformers. I think you're going to be judged. Honestly, and I think it be should, we should big, be open and accepting. Be if big, I want to weightlift, I want to weightlift. Yeah, people can't even backlash. be open and accepting about different strength sports. That's actually funny. Everyone, bodybuilders hate powerlifters. Powerlifters used to hate bodybuilders. Now yeah. everybody hates CrossFit. Well, it's funny where I uh, I announced I said you know I'm no longer doing that powerlifting uh, style stuff. I'm going to do weightlifting. Everyone's like, you fucking do CrossFit. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, we never liked you anyways. <laughs> <laughs> They're crying like they formed their identity behind like a sport, right? Like I'm a power, like I'm Omar the powerlifter. I'm Omar the weightlifter. I'm right. a bodybuilder. And therefore, when you go against that, or when you choose something else, right? It's like you're offending them because right. you're making a choice. That's it's it's like them. people gotta like look, guys. <laughs> it's just an activity, yeah. small yeah. part of what I do. Yeah. Right? Well, it's not my. Don't, that's not me. Don't get caught know? up in it. Yeah, but yeah. but YouTube audiences don't like change. Oh yeah, I mean they really don't they like very much change. You know, I, you know, I've spent some time talking to YouTube people over the last few months. He's getting name drop. No, I'm not. As a matter of fact, but uh, <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> oh. getting close. He was getting close. <laughs> Donald was Trump, close. but um, <laughs> Brandon uh, Campbell. <laughs> but they, but but every, uh, but you know, every, like in a room with a bunch of bunch of YouTube creators, and everybody said, no. Anytime I go off of what everybody expects, I get so much hate. Mm. And that's pretty much what probably I mean, did you lose followers over it all or did it no. feeling okay? No. <laughs> no. no. The, the they just cry. <laughs> it is it is it is your right, certainly in a sense. I think overall, in order to be successful on YouTube, you have to create like compelling, consistent content that has a unique niche. Like you're doing something no one else is doing. You're yeah. being yourself, right? Um, and I think if you're transparent and you're open about that open and transparent mm -hmm. that it will become possible like uh weightlifting initially i announced it and uh, there was some uh feedback yeah. people like yo man like i followed you for powerlifting like, i love yeah, yourself yeah. the videos you did with mark mike uh jeremy what's going to go on and then they see the change and they see what you're doing and over time it's kind of like that pepsi taste <laughs> test challenge where they think oh that's pretty cool actually like maybe yeah. i want to try that out so well, it, it's are it's you talking long, about soda because i just am <laughs> You guys are it's both, uh, I think, I believe you guys are both up over 300,000 subscribers like on that. YouTube. Have you noticed? 393.342. Have you guys noticed? Oh, um, shout out to Mike here. He has oh. 20,000 on YouTube, actually. He's blowing it up. Good follow, job. You're a follow hater. Mike on YouTube at Solid Mike. <laughs> Two Ks. Hater. Good job, Mike. <laughs> hater. Um, but have you guys noticed, uh, like, you know, you try to present something cool to people, but it is different. It's like yeah. a little bit outside of what you normally would present. Uh, is like that, that one. Yeah. Is that a little bit hard to get uh, a good good amount of views like obviously if you go see ct fletcher you know that's automatic home run but if you go and see somebody who does like stock car racing or something just something that you think yeah, yeah. just something you're down with but nah, it may not sure. appeal to I your do, crowd i got a whole series i'm writing a book some people know but it's called mental jewels right so i do these video uh blogs i just call them mental jewels and uh <clears throat> those don't get nearly as many views as the training videos right nothing gets more views than bench press videos on my right. Channel, right and then arms you lift them with your shirt off being all jacked right yeah. <laughs> but hey those now. those say like the average you know videos two three hundred thousand and then uh a mental jewels would be like 40 60 right. you know what i mean yeah. however when people come and talk to me at expos it's about mental jewels yeah, like yeah. All, and it grew it used to be just one person yeah yeah then it got the next expo 10 then 30 and you're connecting like, those are people that come up to you and they're almost yeah. crying they're yeah. like hey yeah. man i appreciate yeah. your shit. difference between that. total views and impact that. then yeah. maybe it's in impact. a video it's engaging yeah. i love that because 
You could throw, I see people all the time, they have the, the crazy screenshot and then they name it something fucking ridiculous, a million views, and you look at it, you're like, really? Yeah. I don't want to do that, you know what I mean? So, and my growth, I'm telling you, it's crazy. It's been very, it's been slow and consistent. Uh-huh. On average, is like like three to 600 subscribers a day. And it hasn't changed, you know what I mean? <clears throat> For like two years, you know? And I'm all right with that. It's, it's not, sh- I don't have anything that's like shocking, like crazy over the top. Because I feel like when you shoot up like that, you are inevitably going to just shoot right back down. I know so that. Nice, uh, steady, I know that Omar right. is like well versed in YouTube, like him personally, um, and, and I remember having some conversations with you. But I don't remember if uh, if you were super well versed in it, or if you have somebody else kind of doing it more for you. Is it is it a little bit of both with you? I or? do it all. You know, I mean, I don't edit videos or anything. Right, right, you know, right. Mars he handles all of that. But as far as you know, I'm on there when I'm when I'm in town in Phoenix making comments. I'm or fucking. In my analytics, I'm in everything, just fucking studying it. And it's funny because me and Mars would look at it together, and it's like there's no rhyme and reason to this shit. Yeah, yeah you know it really I mean? isn't much. Yeah, you so don't always know why. You just gotta sticks. be consi- like you said. You gotta be consistent. Yeah. You know, have your own niche and just and consistency. You know, uniform uniformity works. But I don't have any uniformity on my channel at all. And I'm yeah. like, fuck it. Just, right. I got videos. You about just my follow. Dog. You just follow <laughs> you know, the shit kids. that that you're into. It's just yeah. you know, I put out. I'm very, I feel like I'm, res- um, I don't put out anything that's not responsible. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not going to put out any bad advice, anything that. I've seen a lot of bad advice. <laughs> Actually, Bullshit. I do have a bad advice yeah. series, <laughs> but it's called, they know it's fictitious. Oh, yeah. But anyway, I try to put out responsible content, you know what I mean? Whether it be nutrition, training, or whatever, you know, and you know. You guys all know you get asked all kind of questions, right. you know, and I do pick and choose what I answer and how I answer it. So because, you know, some information may be good for me and terrible for you, you know, so but I try to put out things that they can learn from, period. Right. You know, so, you know, it's not my channel is not about me being cool and look at me with my shirt off. You know, if I have my shirt off, I'm talking shit, proving a point, right. like the dad body shit or whatever, you know, because <laughs> right. I'm a dad bod. So, you know, what about you, Omar Ass Muffin? Uh, in terms of what, Mark. what do you think of uh, you know like if you're presenting like you you're making a switch to Olympic lifting when you present yeah. to Olympic lifting, is it uh, you know ten thousand views as opposed to forty thousand or hundred thousand right. or? I think the big question I always tend to ask myself when it comes to content is does the content deserve to grow? Does it deserve views? And is it interesting and compelling? Um, That's a good way of looking at it. Because the truth is, when it comes, if you're presenting something like weightlifting, do people inherently have interest in it? The answer is no, right? Because it's something new, it's weird, it's different, it's like European. It, mm. People see, you know, lifters compete in it, like Russian lifters, and here in North America, not so much exposure. But if you wrap it in a way that's kind of funny, interesting, you make some jokes, just the editing that you do, <coughs> you could create interest you could create people that will become very interested in it and will want to watch it and therefore will make it grow so i would i would say it's a it's a combination when it comes to youtube it's always about doing what you want because it is your channel Mm -hmm. after all but it's combining truly what you want to do and then in a way that people want to watch it because if you think about it it's like oh i'll just do what i want to do and if people want it's like you're on youtube to get an audience you're here to provide a message right you have to make sure the message is digestible right like people actually want to watch it they want to listen to it so it's that combination of the two like i did uh the first i guess viral video was that green power ranger deadlift one i'm like i fucking love power rangers i love the fucking deadlift (laughs) all these deadlift prs are boring as fuck everyone's like oh look i'm hardcore i'm like shut the fuck up like how about we throw on a costume make it's a little bit silly, right? And do it this way. And like that's and that and that is the thing. It's like what do I want to do? What do people probably want to see? And then combine those two. And so I would say that yeah, like some weightlifting videos are probably a little less viewed initially, but they've been steadily going up uh-huh. because interest grows. You could you could build interest as Mike was saying by providing good content or being an example or whatever, you bring interest into something like your mental jewels or whatever. Yeah, you haven't uh, competed in powerlifting or Olympic lifting, right? No, I so am you're planning. A fake. Yeah, I'm I'm a fake natty. So I, well, no, I am I planning. Was say, um, I was yeah. going to mention something about that, and you haven't competed I don't know if you could tell. Uh, yeah. in powerlifting just yet. You're going no. about tomorrow to, though. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. last um, week. But my yeah. my point was going to be is that you're I think that uh, you're you know uh, you guys have kind of both taught me a lot about YouTube and told me different things and um, being like uh, you know having 
you know, things on there that are easy to associate with, uh, having uh, things that are more relatable and obtainable. Yeah. So for someone to go in the gym and to do a powerlifting movement and to kind of start to call themselves a powerlifter yeah. is a lot easier than them embracing the entire powerlifting thing right. and going to a powerlifting uh, meet or starting to train at a powerlifting gym or trying to go on a bulk phase and trying to really get crazy strong. Right. For them to watch you deadlift and you deadlift, it's an easier thing for them to say, you know what? They said it increases the strength of your back and it makes you bigger, it makes you more jacked, it makes yeah. you stronger. I'm going to go fucking do that. So I think you guys have inspired yeah. thousands and thousands of people to power lift. And I think it's really fucking cool whether you compete or not. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, I do have uh, interest in competing when it comes to weightlifting. Like that was a sport I wanted to do. Right. But I don't think you necessarily have to compete to. Uh, instruct others or to uh, serve as, a, as an example. <laughs> You're okay. full of shit now. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> yeah, I like to think so. I, I have a, a question about something that, that I've noticed recently. I don't know if you guys have noticed it at all, but the, Jim but McDee. the uh, um, uh, rev share is like on its way down. What's that mean? Your AdSense? Yeah. All right. So fun and, fact. And uh, a couple of things I know about, but it's go It's going to get awkward. Go it's going to get quiet. Okay. No, I just oh, want to say something I quickly. I didn't even know up until, so shout out to Brandon Campbell. Uh, last year, I didn't even have ads uh, enabled for my first four years. Oh, so I had 50 million views, God. which would be the equivalent of maybe $100,000 or whatever <laughs> of ad revenue. Especially at the time. Um, Jeez. Yeah, about $100,000 I didn't earn, uh, or maybe eighty to 100000 that I didn't earn for my first four years, because I just didn't even know what it was. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so ouch. I would, so the, diff the difference, ouch. I would say, Huge ouch. is uh, now. So what were you doing on, on YouTube then? Just I had businesses outside of okay. Uh, YouTube. Okay. Yeah, okay. that I was doing. Okay. YouTube the, was just for fun. Okay, that's, was that's, bored. that's part of the monetizing yeah. model people don't think about, is, you know, is going into AKA it. AKA gay for pain. I think, yeah. Flex show. Well, Mark, <laughs> we, we could speak about yesterday. Hey, we made a killing. I know. Yeah. Internet crash. Was <laughs> there was an internet crash at Mark's house. That is a true story. <laughs> That's no lie. I, it was about 1130. I know. I, uh, I don't know. I didn't see that coming. But uh, <laughs> no one did. <laughs> but, uh, I was going to say that uh, just speaking about the rev share, I do think... Uh, you know what you earn due to YouTube views like that's cool but it's determined therefore by YouTube and what they decide to pay you as opposed to you trying to market something else right. to sell to your viewers because then right. it's dependent upon YouTube I much rather do it where it comes from me like what what I want to you know how I want to earn my money yeah. a like lot coaching of, or whatever there are still a lot of people though who are not monetized outside of outside uh, of AdSense or right. whatever and <clears throat> what I keep hearing is that anything in mobile you're not getting anything off of yeah, and that if somebody's running an ad blocker, you're, you're depressing not, you're not, now. Not you're not getting more anything YouTube off of videos. that either. I quit. Mm -hmm. and, I quit before you started. Yeah, the thing is, it's getting the, this whole world of like, you know, uh, streaming media is growing rapidly. Like uh, Facebook is about to start monetizing. Yeah, as well. So it's like. You're right. It's a lot of like I, you know, I had a lot of flip flopping going on. Basically, flippity floppity, yeah. flippity floppities. <laughs> There's a, uh, I just found out that most of my views are mobile and you get paid more uh, on, you know, desktops or computer laptops. Right. And, and, you know, YouTube is not like, a, it's a stream of income, but that, right. I, I don't count on it. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. there. But I do use it for expression and to connect <clears throat> with my audience. That's the main reason that I use it. And, and yeah. to just I build happen, an audience. I yeah. happen to be able to sell product through there as well. Right. This is something I want to speak on too. Like to all the people listening who complain about us selling things. Yeah, Mike. I had a guy, you know, he was like, man, I want to support you and buy some of your wraps, but $45, man, fuck that. No. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. look, all right, listen, bro, you don't have to support me. No, he said, he said, uh, $45, why? Just because your name's on it? I'm like, first of all, my name's not on it for one. <laughs> you don't have to support me. I'm putting this out for you for y'all right. it's mm -hmm. a quality uh a piece of um lifting gear you know right. what i mean you can buy a ten dollar wrap i mean i'm not knocking any of that like why are you so angry at me <laughs> right. do you email nike and say yo these fucking kobe's is two hundred dollars because kobe name is on it like yeah, right. come on like right. do you rather buy some product from people who don't even lift who just fucking make shit buy shit from china right you know what i'm saying or people who's using this shit and you can get stuff from china you can get some vagina. Yeah. I can tell you about that. Oh, the China, oh. a lot of vagina. China. China. Oh, China. China. Okay. You know what I mean? I so it's, it. it's just like 
Austin it's Powers. Like, That's Quinn's I favorite like, part. A lot of vagina. I feel like this, this day and age, this day and age, you know, people have the advantage of getting stuff from people that they look up to, right? Yeah, versus yeah. just random ABC nutrition or ABC versus raps and yeah. fucking Target. You know what I'm saying? Most people are looking for somebody to tell them like, what's the best this? What's the best that? You know? They they, they want free free, and what they don't realize is like video production costs. Yeah. They're getting it for free on YouTube. Right. I spend a lot of money on you on my content. You right. know what I mean? They don't see that. You know, not everybody do, and that's fine. But I like the way, I like what I do. Are you paying for friendships? I do pay for friendships. Okay, that's, so what, that's, that's what I thought you just said. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Andy gave you. Yeah, yeah, we're still good <laughs> for another week. All right, cool, cool. Mike, you can come over and play. All right, cool, cool. Thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah, you got Mike's that. investing on his YouTube though. What do you just buy? Um, friends. A camera, but I bought a real camera. Yeah, but now he's making but, he's making plays. But people, your, your camera's got like glue on it, and yeah. fucking <laughs> it is it is people, so expensive. But, Popcorn but about that, about that. Like that's I think I respect that. You got to invest in yourself. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. You can't. Everything ain't free. You got to invest in yourself. You know what I mean. So spend money to make money. People, and the people, the value you put the in is the value. Yeah, they'll and they get ask out of all it. the time. What do I need to do? And Pull. how Pull. can I start a clothing line? I'm like, what are you doing? What do you do? Right. It's way more than you, fucking idea and Well, Mike, plan. you and I talked about this. Like, you, you know, you just uh, showed up here. You're doing the contest tomorrow um, down at uh, Dan Green's. Uh, it's not his, not his gym. It's actually Boss somewhere else. I think Something it is out of his gym. I heard Boss it wasn't. Me. Now I heard it is out of his But gym. anyways, you're saying. But what? you come rolling in in a, in a you know brand new looking Escalade that you just uh, rented, I assume, right? Yeah. Just bought I mean, it the day but, of. But like, uh, you know, to me. <laughs> Cash. To me, that's um, not that everybody has to, you know, um, you're you're um, able to, to make that happen. Not Maybe mm. not everybody can make that happen, but right. you want to try to treat yourself, you know, you want to try to treat yourself yeah. good and you want to try to, you want to try to put a certain perception out there. You know what I mean? I mean, I think it's important, you know, it's I, important not to go work, around looking like a dirt bag. <laughs> basically. I work hard, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I work my ass off. Like that's all I do is work. I happen to love what I do for work. Right. So that's yeah. why I do it so much with no problem. But yeah, I mean, shit. I want to rent uh, Escalade yeah. when I'm out of town. Yeah, cruising some luxury. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think. Go ahead. But no, nah, go ahead. I, I think that we all are shaping our content. You know, we're all st we're all structuring the things in such a way that, you know, we're educating, we're trying to connect, or whatever, and to be as uh, authentically ourselves as possible within that construct. Right. You know, I mean, it's not. It's not the boring you that got up in the morning and you know having a bowl of cereal. That's not who you're present you're presenting on any kind of social media. Sometimes they want to see that though. That's the yeah, yeah. strange thing about yeah. it. You know. Yeah, you taking care of your dog and and sending your kids off to school or whatever. They want to see something just like normal. But I feel like this is the ultimate version of reality this is reality like yeah, yeah. think about soap operas yeah. back in the day right yeah. it was right. fake reality right. Right. right got it now yeah and this is what we do especially like if you do a day in a life or even periscope or whatever is realer than real like reality tv because that shit is scripted too right well and the you longer know? it plays out the more real it gets right because exactly. then you're no longer just like acting for five right. minutes or right. 20 minutes however right. it might be yeah and people follow you on everything you're doing they know like i hop on periscope they be like dang bro did you hurt yourself last week in that live because you you yeah. know what I mean? It's yeah. kind of cool, but it's just like you fought. Like How many different we, things we, we are, are on? We're all in a Truman show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, that was a good movie. And who's Jim Carrey? We are. We are. All of us. All five of us. Wow. And we're the producers. <laughs> yeah. Omar, are you on like Talk all different kinds of social media? No. I know I know you're on Facebook. I just like I've YouTube. You on the Mainly. YouTube. The, the three that I primarily, <laughs> the big one's YouTube because I like right. that. It's the video content. It's the yeah. one of the most utility where I actually put in time and effort right. and yeah. trying to you know give value. I'd say that both of you guys are pretty awesome at Facebook, though. Your Facebook stuff is actually um, is unique because the uh, wording of it, it always kind of. Well, I, I write like it, posts or whatever you yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. posts that you make on there. Thank you, Mark. They're not, um, he and they're talks not, about they're it not a even, lot. they're not even really video uh, driven. You know, they're all the, the Facebook time. posts. Yeah, they're not. I they just, don't. I like not. They don't really drive people to your YouTube necessarily. No, so it's it's a separate platform where I like to write a little bit, write right. about just thoughts. A way like the medium is the message. Ultimately. I want to say like uh, just one example I can uh -oh. think of is. Oh boy. You said, um, look at this guy's got like seven phones. phones. Eight phones. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> it's only two. He whips out his this phone mobile has, sidekick. This phone has Tammy's name in it, but her whole <laughs> name's Jennifer. Uh -oh. and this phone has, never mind. Don't cross the stream. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying sorry. Um, I don't know. What move I'm on, Mark. Move on. I don't know. One, one post. Do you have a post you want to talk? No, about? No, no. Yeah, just uh, you the, want more compliments? Oh, no, Mark. Yeah, yeah. Mark, you had something you were saying about me. One of the examples of the uh, 
He's like putting them in his uh, holsters. <laughs> <laughs> Woo woo. Gun pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I need that fanny pack, though. That's you need true. a fanny pack. Fanny Mike pack, has a fanny baby. pack now. I got a fanny pack. Reebok one. Reebok Sponsored fanny. I, I bought a fanny pack about six months ago. Yeah. Took it home and took it back the next day. He never didn't rock <laughs> it. I couldn't. What? I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. Uh, even put one a, phone. One of your honest phones question. in there. I think. I think. I think. I would love a fanny pack because I always got all this fucking shit yeah. and some wallet and phones and keys right. and some gym clothes don't have pockets. Hi. <laughs> so and I gotta sit just, it down all the time. You can't, you can't just stick it in your sweatpants. But I'm not. I just can't pull themselves. up. I can't pull up the fanny pack. I can't. I think, I can. I I think you can. I can't. I'm not Mike's doing. A, I'm back. not doing a merce or whatever. I can't. Yeah, do that's that. a little much. A satchel. So I just like I just rough it out and just hold pockets. Have someone carry pockets. your shit. I'm not just that hire, cool. Hire man. some kids. Not next not level. Cool. Mars, God damn it! You gave me the wrong phone. Mars is carrying Mars shit. Cameras and shit. Lugging all the stuff around. Yeah. Anyway, the post I, oh, I remember hey. is uh, <laughs> back to you, me. Uh, you basically just uh, said, you know, powerlifting is real popular in 2015. What's yeah. coming next in 2016? And then it just had just a fuck ton of comments. Yeah, five or six hundred comments. That's a people good. Kinda, that's a good. Yeah, as people going yeah. back and forth, you do a great job of engaging people. I think it's awesome. Jeez, what did I do to get all these compliments, Mark? What's going yeah, on? What here? happened last no, night? Is, bad, is, bad, am I off the, is Andy going to tell me I'm kicked out of the house? Yeah. Like when well, I come well, back? No, you guys are both scumbags. I hate you both. Okay. You guys <laughs> already you. know that. But okay. With you that guys being are said, really good at what you do. You're professional yeah. YouTubers in a way. Okay. I know that you have other things going on. That, that That's yeah. not always the main focus. But yeah. you guys do a great job of uh, attracting people to the different things that you're doing. All right. Let's give a compliment back here. I appreciate that. But uh, your YouTube, no, for real. I'm I, uh, leaving if this is just going to be a fucking... A wank fest. <laughs> he yeah. just wants a shout out to his YouTube. Once again, guys, you can follow Mike on his YouTube channel, Silent Mike. He just started. He's at 20,000. Two Ks. <laughs> Two Ks. There's no, one K, hater. You don't even say, follow me on YouTube, huh? The, the big thing I experienced when I actually came down to Super Training. So I watched, like, I watch your videos. I watch your brother's uh, documentary, Bigger, Stronger, Faster. But I really enjoyed it. Um, and then I remember I saw you afterwards, like, because... Uh, uh, on the internet people yeah he has a youtube channel i saw that and i thought it was pretty cool and then we actually skyped and i'm like you're fun like you're funnier on like you're funnier when you talk right. in person than your videos were and then i came down here and i'm like you're way funnier than either of them none of your shit is captioned this like your video right. your videos are whack compared to what you're on reality they're not doing uh it justice right and then like you know, you started with the content like Money Maker, Mike, and, uh, and whatnot, and it's right. really, really like next level stuff. Like the Ed Cohen stuff. Now, you're one of the few channels I actually check out. Yeah. Yeah. Trying it's to really push good. it and get some good info out there. Yeah. But my, my point is, is like, I think a lot of people don't know how I'm to. I'm going do home, it. by the way, because yeah. that compliment, like, <laughs> yeah. where can you go from here? Yeah. Nowhere. Just downhill. Just. Just downhill. I just think a lot of people just, you know, don't know how to do it all that well, and they're not. What you guys are doing and what we do here at Super Training is we share information. And that information helps attract people to certain things or even just voicing an opinion, you know. And I think, like, more people need to kind of do that. The people that kind of complain, I don't have a sponsorship, I don't have this, I don't have that. They're just not attracting enough people. They're not They're not thinking enough to, to do I, that. I'd be like, fuck a sponsorship. Yeah, you, you don't know what need, I mean? Yeah, well, when you do things right, you don't need it. You don't I mean, I tell, it. like, and, I, and it actually disheartens me, it saddens me when I see people that, you know, that I may not know. And then we meet, you know, people who are out there and they're talking about, like the importance that they're putting on sponsorships and I'm Ooh. like yeah they're kind of just you, looking for a handout you don't, you don't need that though, they'll, you know? they also but think it'll like solve all the problems too it's like you're still at the mercy right. of somebody else what's uh you know? you've been in the industry for a long time what's the most you've ever heard anybody get through a sponsorship you don't have to say anybody's name or anything but like I mean I know of a deal that somebody walked away from mm -hmm. that was fucking crazy yeah you know somebody I'm close to and then that person still got a huge fucking deal. Right, right. Like so they can live comfortably. Right, but off I guess my, my, my point is like there's only like but like it's, five of those it's, guys. That yeah, could, well that over could get, six figures. You yeah. know what I mean? But it's but the rest on of top of a bunch of other perks. Right, you know right. what I mean? But in general, like a lot of times, those deals, those sponsorships are. If you're lucky, they're like a thousand bucks a month. I mean, aren't they? Isn't that kind of what's kicked around out there? I mean, I don't know. That's just something I got, I've heard. I mean, I, I, don't know. I got a couple. I'm not like. I get pitched stuff all the time. Right. Right. I'll hop on something if if if, if I have a gen, genuine interest in it. Yeah, if you like it, yeah. Yeah, and I get a, a good amount of money sponsorship-wise. Right. However, I never, ever look at it, take it that serious. Right. Never. Because I, right. I don't ever want to be that guy that, hey, uh, you guys send the money. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, it's not amazing. You know, it's not amazing. it comes, it comes, you know. Right. 
I, that's just my ego though. Like I'm, I'm, mm-hmm. I try to be as self sufficient as possible and teach my kids that, you know. So Mark's right though that most of them, like what they actually offer, like on YouTube, let's say, they're horrible. Like they're not even worth the value right. of the person. You're totally right about that. Somebody has you know, like funny. two, three hundred thousand followers. It's funny. Might you, be t- you say that. Uh, we were on a plane today, and, and Mars was showing me what was it called? Uh, Socialbluebook.com. Y'all heard of that? No. no. Uh, you know what the Blue, Kelly's Blue Book, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. So basically, well, it's get your own value. You plug in your social media that's cool. outlets, your value. and they calculate what that's you should cool. be getting for huh. posts. It's, that's pretty cool. It's fucking perfect. You put in yeah. YouTube, Instagram, anything? Or yeah. What? Right now they have YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Vine. <laughs> Facebook and a few others are coming. And so you just plug in uh, your amount of followers for each, and it gives no, you. No, you a put value. in your, you log in. Oh, your tags. Or your, yeah, uh, and names. they they calculate it. That's pretty cool. Mm. It's crazy. They, they, they put all your fucking. The coding is just crazy. They put all your stats. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And <clears> then they put what what. That's it, pretty cool. That and like you could send a, a a quote. Like oh, if somebody, really? yeah. It That's, sounds like a better version of clout. I don't know that that one. Clout's another one. It's I don't I don't even know who started clout, mm. but essentially you put in. They don't have they don't have access to all of those. Right. You put in Twitter and LinkedIn and right. Facebook and but, but there's no YouTube on it, mm. which is big for a lot of people. Yeah, and there are a couple, biggest, couple other ones one. that are not yeah. on there, um, and it gives you a score. It gives you an mm-hmm. overall score. Yeah, now um, this one puts an actual dollar amount. It puts a low, a high, and an average. It's that's crazy. interesting. It is. Yeah. It's it's. But uh, at the same time, I wonder how they calculate the traction or their right. like your total perceived value. Because I know some people on YouTube, uh, let's say they have a million or two million subscribers, and the amount of money they make off of endorsements or whatever is lower than some people that have a couple oh, yeah. hundred that are oh, yeah. killing it. It's because yeah. their traction is bad. Like their yeah. audience loves yeah. them. So I just yeah. it'd be interesting how they figured that yeah, out. I, you can use that as leverage. There was if you someone. Want to yeah, exactly. There's someone I I know that. They got fucking double what I got on our YouTube, and I was like, "So what are you making a month?" <laughs> and you're killing them, right? And I'm like, "Really? Like yeah. really? That's it." I'm like, that's, "What about that's the it? one video and nah. that?" And they're like, "Yeah." Nah. So it depends on platform too. You know, Instagram, a uh, hundred thousand people on Instagram might uh, or isn't. It's, 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 it's powerful. powerful. It's not as powerful. It's as worth 100. about ten YouTube yeah. subscribers. And, and I you, think it's a little yeah. more. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. so addicted to Instagram. Yeah. When you but can it's argue, not, it's nothing as powerful as YouTube. I tell people all the time. Yeah. I totally you got agree. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You can scroll yeah. through, like, not even yeah. see it. Whatever. The only YouTube, one YouTube that you got their attention from thirty seconds to thirty minutes. They're watching. Yeah. The only yeah, one I would argue is podcast, and that's impact. Yeah, I was just because uh, the longer yeah, you can get someone's cast. attention, oh, yeah, for sure. the better. Yes, so you're, yeah. you're like you said, your videos yeah. half an hour. That's a right. lot of uh, info right. and connection. Right. Podcast right. is an hour, a lot of info, a lot mm-hmm. of attention. Yeah, and we've we well, our downloads just audio only have doubled. And, yeah, I shouldn't you know, even put this months. one out. There's too many secrets. <laughs> yeah, you know <laughs> what I mean? like, it's secrets. It's maybe that's what we'll call this one. The bonus, the lost tapes, secrets, secrets and lies. It's all That's just fake. Lies. We're all broke as shit. Right. That's true. For real. Wah, wah, wah. I rented a So you're doing bike. the doing the power for me tomorrow. Yeah, man. I'm hopping in. You God know. Damn. And I'm a, I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest. You know. Um, hundred. You're gonna win it. Yeah, he said you know, a hundred. What? You're gonna win it. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. You know, I do feel insecure about it. You know. The Why? singlet part or the lifting part? The singlet. Yeah. You know. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I'll give you some socks, buddy. It won't <laughs> oh, be a problem. God. Nah, but but in all seriousness, you know, I beast out in the gym. You know what I mean? But, you know, with all of the commands. Beast and, mode. Right, That's different, this man. This shit is like, yeah, yeah, it is different, you know. So, um, and you know, a lot of people know, my first rep on a bench is shady. Yeah. <laughs> and the second rep is fucking great. You know what I mean? Make you it should so two-rep competition. Yeah, you should just ask if you yeah, can do some doubles. Two, yeah, doubles. right, right. They do, even a triple, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Warmed up. But, you know, can I want to. Can we do incline I respect it so much that I want to, I want to. I'm not trying to be the best, but I want to get good at it. Yeah, you cool. You know what I mean? So it's a great meet to choose, though. Yeah. So yeah, I didn't. Be they, a lot of competitive I, they invited me to do it. You know, I would have chose to do do something local, something just to practice. You know, oh, something maybe smaller first. Right. But yeah. Right. But so I I, I kind of feel a certain way about doing it because I don't want to feel like. I don't want anybody to feel disrespected who's been paying their dues yeah, yeah. to get invited to it, you know, for whatever reason they invited oh, yeah. me I to think, it. I think the I only disrespectful want... part will be you flying in your helicopter and having your own entrance <laughs> music and stuff. I already paid. It's already yeah. arranged. And you he, already hired, sorry, he already arranged. hired a bench press you for him. R- right. r- repelling you from the helicopter friend over here, <laughs> taking your robe off slowly <laughs> before you do your bench press. That's how I do my shit, though. I, I don't know what else to do, man. 
I don't know this corner. It's got to be some <laughs> ceremony involved. Right. Hey, let's talk about the, boxing the for a minute. flying in when I walk in. Oh, I mean, yeah. I don't know. Oh, doves. I don't know. Yeah. Nice oh. touch. That's Should I have the That's some purple rain. Yeah, doves. Yeah. Yeah. Sign of right hope. There. Rose petals. Right. Yeah. Sign of hope. Windows oh. Yeah. I want yeah. the wind to blow my hair. <laughs> what do you think you about? You want to borrow Omar's hair? about doves? I love doves. What do they mean to you? A dove purity. So you think that has anything to do with your childhood? Yes. Everything to do with my childhood. Wow. Whoa. Hey. Uh-oh. Hey. Now Everything. we're getting somewhere. Yeah, I don't know where we're going. We're going. We're going downhill fast. Where we're going? Very fast. Boxing. Let's talk a little bit about boxing. <laughs> boxing. You used Love to box, boxing. man, and then uh, in some of your videos and shit, you're throwing mm. some hands, and it fucking looks brutal. Looks like uh, looks like you did it's some not, training. It's not so brutal how? though. Well, boxing is such a people a sweet science. People have such a misconception about boxing, and then the biggest event in recent time was Mayweather Pacquiao fight, right? Yeah, which was kind of fucked. But it wasn't though. This is yeah, the thing. Yeah, yeah Mayweather was awesome. Listen, people have no appreci. The general public, the n- not the boxing fans, have no appreciation for boxing. Boxing right. is a sport. It's not fighting. You know, right. it's a sport. Yeah, it's quite you different. You hit yeah. and don't get hit. That's yeah. how you score points. You know, you yeah, make yeah. you miss. And not only that, when you actually you box before, so you can attest to this. When you miss a punch, it's humiliating. It tires you out faster. When you miss a punch and get hit, it's even worse. You don't yeah. even want to punch. And that's what Mayweather does to so many people. Yeah, he's good at counter. He's a great counter. And punch that, that in itself is brilliance. And this is another thing about him that people just don't even take in consideration. He's been a champion for 17 years. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. It's fucking yeah, crazy. It's you yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so it's like, more than half my lifetime. They, they, they don't look at all his fights when he was in there trying to knock people out and knocking people out. They look at him now, almost 40 years old, trying not to yeah. get brain damage. You know what I mean? Right. right. And he said it like, dude, I got kids. I'm not trying to be. There's so many. You have people like Freddie Roach, who I respect him as a coach, but he talks shit about bo- people that box. He said they're running. Right. But he has neurological damage from when he was a, a boxer taking damage. Right, right. How can you tell me <laughs> well, being and, defensive? And the way that yeah. Mayweather fights, you know, he's he's – Literally, kind of like standing sideways and shit. I don't think people even understand how hard that and is. That's, and that's the something that work like it. it you feel some, like you're gonna fall down. Yeah, you learn that down. early. You, you go like this to give them less target. <laughs> right. Yeah. You don't want right. to get hit. Who yeah, wants? Right. I don't want to get hit. If I'm in a sport, I want to humiliate you and not get touched. I want to look like I didn't get in a fight. Right. right. You and know he what almost mean? always comes out that way, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, but the you know, as people say, oh, UFC's taking over, boxing's dead. I'm like, how can you say that? There's guys that you've never heard of that that they're locked in at two million a fight yeah, that you yeah. never heard of. Yeah, you just don't watch yeah. boxing. Yeah, right. really UFC guy yeah. doing that. That's all media, I think. Hmm? If ESPN talked about boxing more, boxing would then well, the regular now, public would think. now boxing. There's a it's a, a promotion called PBC, uh, Premier Boxing Championships. So now it's on ESPN, it's on CBS, it's on regular TV. Yeah. Big, like one of my friends, shout out to uh, Abner Morris. You know he's a he's a three time world champion. He's fighting tomorrow night on primetime TV. Yeah, that's cool. So it's you know, and they put in good fights. You I know hit him mean? with a so. chair. You know what I mean? I'd <laughs> yeah, just yeah. give him a, that's the move. <laughs> yeah, I would make yeah. it like unfair. Just Two, but, yeah, four by so. four with some uh, speaking barbed which, wire. Yeah, but I, I, style. but I love UFC too. I love combat in general, like combat sports. I love martial arts. WWE. You know what I mean? Omar's, yeah. Omar's Canadian and he doesn't fight. I don't understand what that means. Yeah. Yeah. Besides George St. Pierre. He's on a hockey, hockey eh? thing. Yeah. Eh? That's your best impression? Do your impression right now, Canada. Hockey, eh? <laughs> I give that a negative four out of ten. Yeah. All right, let's hear your best Someone. California. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. That's Northern California. You're That's wrong. Northern yeah, California. It's, it's, it's ca- is that not part of California? Yeah, I mean, I guess. But when people think California, yeah. like... Yeah, bro. <laughs> Me and uh, Omar yeah. have had quite the standoff at the door many times about who's going to go in first. We actually sometimes have not gone into a place. You turn yeah. around and leave. It's known as a, that is a Canadian. No, no, off. after you. Who's no, let, no, allow no, me. I no, really no, no, you. Well, I'm holding no, no, the door, please, so you have to go inside. Please, Omar, just go. Three hours later, the place is closed. <laughs> and your home's standing <laughs> outside, and we haven't eaten food. Yeah. When are you coming back to professional wrestling? Tomorrow night. <laughs> well, how cool would that be, though? Oh, it would hurt. I, yeah, you you always told, like you said like it sucks because like, it he hurts. Would, he, would it, he would die. He would die. Well, I'd hold die. on. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. not. No, no. He, he's afraid he's gonna die anyway. Yeah, and yeah. and this would hasten it. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. That, yeah, yeah. That would that would make that happen faster. You've watched process. the wrestler though, right, Mark? Yeah. Go yeah. out swinging. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You know what blows my mind about the wrestler? It was originally part of the same script as the Black Swan. Yeah, Aronofsky's a great director. Yeah, that's a. That yeah. blows my mind. Yeah. That's too pie, I mean, black swan, yeah, wrestler. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those were two like high caliber 
movies. Amazing yeah, movies. Yeah. Michael, you be my black swan. <laughs> I am your black swan. <laughs> I'm your white dove. <laughs> there it is there. When doves Ebony cry. and ivory. I mean, that's oh Paul McCartney. That's the future of America. Damn. Yeah. Vanilla, yeah. vanilla America chocolate is the swirl. only country without a race. And I predict in like two or three generations, our race will be just, you don't know what. Just, we are, it's just, you don't know what the fuck. Like I think that's, Omar, I think that's brown and yellow. <laughs> like Toronto is like uh, the most diverse city. I think in the world, over 60% is oh. a visible minority. And mm. that's what you count. What the invisible minority? That's, yeah. that's deep. Yeah. Yeah, Sacramento's yeah. actually Wait, very one of diverse everything. as well. Sixty like percent is you minority. <laughs> I think it's not. <laughs> it's not. Well, that's the way it means. It means non-white, non-Caucasian. I, I well, what are you? Are you considered Caucasian? I have no idea. You're it depends on it depends on YouTube. That's, it depends that's a, on YouTube. That's self-proclaimed, right? Some I'm like it's in a survey. Yeah, I'm like a terrorist according to some on YouTube. Others I'm like you know Kim Kardashian. Latino. Yeah, it's like whatever. Yeah. What are, what was your nationality? I actually don't talk about that online because it just attracts too much uh, what's that, negative. Kim, what's Kim Kardashian? Attention. Armenian? I got you back. Fuck yeah. it. I got yeah. you back. Let's go. No. <laughs> who, 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 who says something? <laughs> like that. Yeah. I think, I think uh, some like uh, backgrounds or whatnot have, there's more judgment towards them. Yeah. And, it creates, and it creates yeah, uh, negative he's embarrassed. publicity. He's African American. <laughs> 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 yeah. Nigerian. You know. Nigerian. Yeah. Well, Michael Jackson. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. You understand that. Yeah. Got it. I had that skin lightening <laughs> thing like Michael Jackson, and yeah, this has got it. Uh, no, I'm I'm incredibly proud of my background. Actually, it's just on YouTube. Also, part of what it is straight up is uh, I just don't d disclose any public information. Like, you know, I b I barely talk about my brother, like how old I am, whatnot, oh, yeah. because certain individuals want to take that information maybe and use it negatively against right. you. So it's not well, an issue of like being ashamed. It's the opposite. Well, that blows the whole next yeah. hour of the podcast, which was going to be you know in depth. Oh, Omar, share your secret pain. Yeah. yeah, there is no pain, and that is the secret. So. <laughs> It's Wait, boring and true. You have no, no pain. No I got. Pain? I got no. Uh, no, no pain. Been no nothing pain. Ashamed. Yeah, and there are no gains. So here we go. <laughs> here I am. Hey guys, it's been great. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, I think we uncovered something. I yeah. don't. I don't have anything. No intense, pain. Uh, no gains. But also, I think it's a mindset too, right? That you have. When it's like people. Sometimes, if you carry like uh, excess, like uh, luggage or baggage or whatever, like things from the past. You got to reconcile that. So you're right. saying whatever there might have been in the past, you, you forgot to let it. you let go of it. It's yesterday. That it's, that yesterday it don't mean shit. It doesn't define you in any way. No. What about the pain of being superior to Silent Mike? You guys had a competition Thank down you, in Mark. Los Angeles. Mark's the, and Mark's I just kind of like. MVP. I mean, I, I love Silent Mike. You know, he's, I love him he's too. Like a brother to me. In a he's way. like the younger brother. But, even I mean, he's, he's just. It's like on every level, he seems to get More smoked like by you. On the first one, you were the judge. Clearly, said I won. Yeah, that's true. No, he said afterwards because he felt like America couldn't lose to. Canada. Somebody, we had this like Canada versus yeah, America thing yeah, on the yeah, YouTube. Yeah. Somebody on Periscope asked mm. why you got to uh, use the red slingshot <laughs> and I had to use the blue slingshot. Judge's rules. Uh, Ziski yeah. was the judge. Ziski's Remember that? a cheater. Zeus. Well, <laughs> hey, well, you picked him, so you tell no, but me that's got to hurt. Part. That's got to hurt what? to be like that much better than somebody, right? I mean, that's got to bother you. You got to ask him about that. No, I'm just saying it's got to. Doesn't it bother you? You don't like, have any you know, compassion for me. Yeah, like. Because, I mean, it's cool to beat somebody, but when there's no competition, when you actually slaughter them, and then you start to feel bad, right? This is true. So I try to make it up by shouting out his Instagram and YouTube all the time. Oh, what, are they? what are they, by the way? <laughs> Silent Mike. Silent Mike with two gays. Two I've, gays. Never, I've never met a thirstier person than Silent Mike for, like, Instagram or whatnot. Besides Fat Dan. Well, Fat Dan doesn't count because he so he just doesn't count. The reason is Bob because Evans. he doesn't count. But what I was gonna say is that he. Uh, <laughs> for a reason, I said uh, he said yeah, I'm trying to grow my Instagram. He told me that yesterday. This is Fat Dan. That's it. And I'm like, I don't even I don't even look at numbers and I'm like this is what I do. But like he's like, yeah, I'm trying to grow it. I got. 3,000, around 3,000, I said, I'm like, oh, that's cool. And I said, what's your Instagram? And he gave it to me. He had 2,300. Who the fuck rounds up from 23 <laughs> to 3,000? Just around. I got one more quick story, and then I'm done with it. But it was, oh it was amazing. So he, uh, he was asking me, he was asking me, like, Instagram secrets about, like, captioning or whatnot, hashtags. I'm like, I have no fucking idea. But he asked me, he had a picture with his mom, and he's like, hey, what should I caption this? And I said, I gave him one, and, like, he took it, and it started getting likes, and I'm like, oh, whatever, that's awesome. He gives me the photo. He goes for me to see it, and I see on Instagram that he liked his own photo, right? Yeah, you can't do that. Well, well I said, I said, I said, I said, wait a second. I said, you liked your own photo, and then he said, oh, did I? <laughs> I click on his profile. I swear to God, every he photo, has, every photo is like. <laughs> so he's, pre he's pretending like he only liked that one. He's like, oh, yeah. I don't he's like, think oh, so. Did I? I don't. Think I like all like my own stuff. Yeah. I'm just not first. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah. everything. It's funny. 
Yeah. Or comment. Do you comment on it? Like, oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah I go to friends. Shout out, Mike. You're the best. I go to like friends. I go to other friends too, and I like their shit too. I'm like, he needs more points. Like it's like a game. Yeah, he gets the most amount of points. Yeah. Yeah, I actually do think some uh, people on YouTube won't name names, but I, I do think that uh, some create second accounts. Like sometimes, because you get like haters, like oh, who cares? Oh, that's right? good. But they, but they create. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. have seven accounts. They create second accounts. Good job, champ. Always... Looking jacked. <laughs> yeah. Mark, why are you so jacked? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, certain, it's certain people that be religiously yeah. on mine. I'm like, yeah. and I, you could tell what they're, they're trying to get. A sh- like, oh, yeah. thank you, bro. Oh, that's what's up. And I'm like, bro, it's, it's, it's like Mars, a, isn't it? It's, it's Mars. Just, He's on there. <laughs> yeah. Talking shit. Mm-hmm. I just like Wait, the, Do you but, just yawn, Mike? Yeah, you guys are boring as but fuck. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What's that guy? There's a guy, Shuttle shuttle Bottom, Shuttle. Tim Shufflebottom. Shufflebottom, yeah. I shot yeah. this motherfucker yeah. 30 Shuffle times. Yeah. He, comes he keeps back. coming back. How? Yeah. I think, I think it's other people making it. I think like, there's I, I a think million people with He's Tim moved on from our channel at this point. I think trolls are pretty fun. He started liking me, like. Yeah. Giving me props and shit. Like, I'm like, like, I don't like, trust like, you, like, 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 stand like Eminem, like, or just like, good. just trying to be positive on my shit. Oh, okay. But I block. I, I, I think it's just a bunch of people with that name. Yeah, I think right. it got yeah. Yeah. one guy started and then yeah. everyone thought it was so funny. Yeah. yeah. What's interesting Kill is Roy. that uh, some people, that, like some YouTubers, I think they create second accounts so to address mm. those troll comments, <laughs> and they always know more oh, information wow. than any fan would clearly know wow. about yeah, the video yeah, or the yeah, person, yeah, and it's so yeah. obvious. Yeah. It's amazing. Wow. If you if you get like lit up by like someone leaving a random think about it, it's a random person leaving a random comment on your channel. Who gives a fuck? That might sound let's, like narcissistic. Let's, let's talk about. I like I let's, like when the people my people fucking get on defend you. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that's funny, them. isn't it? They get jump them. on them. Get them. Let's talk so, about some uh, classics that we've heard uh, on our channels. Like, well, yeah, yeah. no, yeah. they're funny. Well, some people are one guy said, uh, I, I, do, I so like to funny. read it, man. Some yeah. of the troll, I love it. I'd be on an airplane, di- like, I'd be feeling so childish yeah. by the people yeah. sitting there. I'm like dying. Yeah, <laughs> some people are hilarious. Yeah, yeah. They, they're, they're, some, some people say. are good at like ripping you apart. Uh, I'm the what the, uh, the Andre Agassi yeah. on steroids. Mark's, right? Mark's the Andre Agassi. <laughs> that's on a steroids. compliment. Yeah, that's silent, the champion. The silent mic is using synthol in his nose. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. not bad. Like everybody's like, oh, what's wrong with your nose? Like, all right, that's not funny, dickhead. Like, right, be a little right, more right. creative. Right. Yeah. Or but why isn't he silent? Yeah. His name's Silent. Yeah. Mike. You guys, silent got, you guys silent. got some good ones. Uh, Kim Kardashian. Yeah, yeah that I was funny. I get the yeah. cleavage because I got like forehead yeah. cleavage. Yeah. Kim Kardashian is pretty funny because it's Uni- not really an insult. The unibrow, like the uh, uh, ass chest, right? Yeah, that ass actually, chest? I think that's a compliment. Did you yeah, start yeah, that or someone else did? Uh, someone else CT started, started that. CT started ass chest. Oh, did he? Yeah. <laughs> CT came yeah. up with that. I think CT Fletcher already. He talks about yeah. ass chest. He's got some no. pecs. Ass chest. That's great. Pecs yeah. for days. But you just have squiggly hairs in yours, so yours really looks, looks like a butt like crack. Chest. Yeah. Yeah. I, just, I posted a photo one time. Oh, yeah, there's like 12 like, of them in there, right? And then we brought that up last time yeah. on the uh, Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, just, I just couldn't get a read on this photo here. I don't know what I'm looking at. It's what uh, video have you guys, you guys posted that has, has had the uh, like the crazy, like not not craziest biggest response. impact, but yeah, craziest like response. Like people just like, flip. I know like you said like, because you wear the stringer tank top, sometimes people flip out because of the nipple nipple slip. Nipple, nipple slip. slip. Well, the fourteen year old kid's like, I see a nipple. <laughs> yeah, it's like okay. that's a thirty year old man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You think it's a fourteen year old? He's a grown man, <laughs> a grown ass man at home with a fourteen year old son. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. You know. Uh oh. But yeah, you're saying, Mark. What uh, what video? What about you? Want? You guys anything, like anything that's just had outrageous comments? People people either pissed or people happy or just it could be anything. Yeah, you so we uh, your brother shot a video for my channel, right? Uh, and I named it from Fat Powder for Jack Metrosexual, and that's like 1.5 million views. I saw that. Yeah, and like I think it's, it's a really well done thing. But what's interesting is uh, one people got offended, right? But the term they, metrosexual? No, because uh, Mark, you could be whoever you want to be. Just understand that. But uh, from saying from fat <laughs> from fat powerlifter, right? It's like saying you went from somewhere like a powerlifter who is fat to like the title says Jack metrosexual. Right. Where it's like, well, you went from a powerlifting to a powerlifter to something else. So it, it sparked like a lot of conversation. And then the big one, like it, it brings up like you're talking about uh, Janae, but just questions like, what's a metrosexual? Yeah, right? Right, right, and right, like yeah. people, and then people are like, wait, Mark's gay? It's like, wait, yeah. but I thought he has, I thought he has kids. Yeah. No, but I thought he was going out with this dude. Well, I saw a photo where he was with this guy, and let me just say, it looks suspicious. I'm like, yeah. There's a lot of photos like that. Yeah. Me, yeah. Around you, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, no. Yeah. Joe Rogan said that if you're uh, famous enough, you'll end up with a dick in your mouth. <laughs> no. Yeah. So Remember has that, that happened yet? Remember is the question. When we went to see him? Yeah. Yeah. No. Exactly. I don't doubt yeah. it. You're I'm him. not famous you enough. You guys are both. Yeah, you, you're, you're the most famous yeah. at the table. <laughs> I was, I, <laughs> you guys are right next to each other. I just, was, a, just ask Mike. 
When you were on Rogan, you mentioned that, that we'd gone to see him a couple years ago. I was so offended that he didn't remember us. <laughs> yeah, what an yeah. asshole. What, what this is awkward. Yeah. It's incredibly awkward. I love Joe Rogan. Yeah, he's yeah. funny. Yeah, he's super awesome. funny. He was awesome. It was awesome being on yeah. there. So what are you expecting to do in the meet tomorrow? 600. Shit. Seven, 650. 730 bench press. Spoto. Oh. You hear that, Spoto? Bye, buddy. <laughs> nah. Oh, oh, just start with a world record. Okay. And then, just <laughs> yeah, and then go up from there. there. Sounds that's, good. That's, that's, that's good opener. plan. Dead 1,050. 730 opener. Nah, 1,035. Yo, oh, I, I, I hit you're gonna go like fifteen for two. Oh, already, so, that makes sense. You know. The math works out. No video head, though. Yeah. So. No, I, cameras I ran wanna, out of. Batteries. I want to save it. Exactly. I want to save that one. Mm. Nah. nah, I don't know, man. Honestly, and my like, you know, I'm like, you know, definitely want to get over five on bench and all that. But in reality, I just want to get clean lifts. That's it. Right. Yeah. I, I'm gonna fill it out. Start at what four twenty five. See where we go from there. Are you nervous about the drug test afterwards? So nervous, <laughs> so much cocaine on the way. Right? <laughs> yeah. Too well, much really? cocaine. Well, I, guess I, I, yeah. Yeah, I think that would the, help. I think the stakes are high for people who are on um, YouTube and have a big following mm-hmm. when they lift in meets because everybody you, see it. Yeah, exactly. The clean lift thing—that's a big deal. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. a big deal. You'll what hear. Mean, a, you'll hear about it right. I think away. most of it will be mm-hmm. positive. Yeah, I no think matter so what too, the result is, you'll probably squat contest. deep. The oh yeah, the, the results the, the results always <laughs> positive. Even if someone I'm, doesn't do well, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm it's no bad to me, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, if I don't do it properly, I learn. And I'll right. do it better the next time. Right. I mean, you know, I'm going into this with a completely open mind. I'm not going into this like usually. I like to win, you know, and I go into competitions in like rage mode. Right. Everything I do with this, I have a different mindset. You know, I'm just going in to experience oh, that's good. it. You're going there to lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going in like. to experience it. Yeah, you know, experience and, new things. and and see where we go from there. Yeah. I don't know what to expect yet. Powerlifting right is a little different sport, uh, even though it is competition. And uh, you know, if you out total somebody or outlift somebody, you win, and that guy loses. It's uh, different because the quote unquote underdog can kind of never uh, win, and the um, expectations or or the reality of what you're going to do is already set. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you've trained six weeks and you hit 500 for two, you'll probably bench about 520 mm-hmm. if nothing goes wrong. Right. In basketball, the worst team in the world could be the best team in the right, world right, if right. some weird shit happens. Right. That doesn't really happen at powerlifting. You, know, you could lose it I for yourself, but you can't really. Going, I have weird shit going on with me right now. My favorite lift is a bench. Yeah, press, yeah. Right? One week, I'm fucking smoking big numbers. The next week, I'm getting crushed. Yeah. So with me, You're traveling. I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow, right. and I'm gonna just, <laughs> hey, just go have fun. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. That's I, mean? what, I think that's the best. Uh, I'm in a, I'm in a situation to where I can't. I'm not in control right now because it is, you know, this pain I be getting. So I'm gonna just go have fun. Yeah, you know? I'm gonna go have fun. That's it. I'll try to have fun. If I fuck up, I'm not gonna have fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. But I'm gonna just go with an open mind and try to do do the best I can. That's it. And you know, I'm gonna document it, show the world. Hey, this what happened. It is what it is. Hell yeah. yeah. Are you guys going to compete again? Mark, Mike. Who knows? No plans as of now. I don't think he's telling the truth. <laughs> One more return. I could fart in the microphone if you need me to. What would that solve? Everything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, no plans. Maybe. Mark's still young. He could make it. Mark's you hear, not young. Are you hearing these things, Mark? Hmm? You do anything you put your mind to. Compete. Maybe. Maybe. Compete. I, I, I understand why he retired, and it, and when he told me, when he texted me what would he was going to do, I was like, I'm not going to argue with you because no. I understand your reasoning. It was weird. Uh, he retired the day before I did. But it's yeah. also, <laughs> it's also like not, a scheduled group announcement. It, but it's also not impossible. Yeah, that he would get the bug to do it again one well, more time. I see uh, or, or every, every couple of years or whatever, and then you know, I mean, yeah. you're still retired if you don't do it all the time, right? Well, training uh, with Mark, I see that he still gets very fired up right. when he lifts. So oh, I think yeah. like the fire's not gone. Yeah. Right. I, I, just, just, yeah, I think he'll be back at it. Yeah. My personal opinion. Get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. I mean, he's, peer pressure. He, I, he's been hitting 315 on the bench. Mm-hmm. You know, looking <laughs> good. 325 is coming soon, Hell bitches. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Follow his Instagram. <laughs> Right. That cool Add 185. <laughs> so what else you guys got going on? You got a documentary you're working on? Or yes, we're shit? working on a documentary. It's not top secret, right? Okay. It's not top secret. Right. Nah, but I'm um, very excited about it. Does, it, does shoot, a documentary start off in the beginning as you, uh, a small white kid, 
um, in Indiana. In Indiana. Yeah. 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 The cornfields. Yeah. You were what seven, and With, then you decided uh, to switch. I had chronic bronchitis <laughs> yeah. and emphysema, mm. and all mixed mm. together, and overcame. Yeah. You it's know. a wonderful story. It is. Yeah. 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 Critically parent. acclaimed. Called, my name was Tiny Tim back then. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Turn into Big Mike. You know, mm. I drove a tractor across the country, one tank of gas. Really? And, like nine you know, films <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but nah, the documentary. From Indiana to where? To California. Oh, to Compton. Yeah, that's Indiana to Compton. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The tractor. That's successful. It was revolutionary. Nobody's seen oh, that. Oh, with the Nobody's seen that done before. That's a good. tractor. And yeah. you always Trust. bullshit people like the eyes. No one's seen that done before. <laughs> you uh, had the straw hat, right? Straw that was, hat. That was you, yeah. And then it slowly straw. turned into a snapback and then you halfway <laughs> over. started a group called the NWA. I did that. I just, that's oh, amazing, yeah. Did you show them footage? Oh, <laughs> how did yeah. they? Sold a headphone company. A lot of money was made. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Damn. Yeah. What's going on with the documentary? How far along are we? Uh, we're, we're near the finish line, actually. Uh, we're projecting to be complete by mid-September. And uh, post-production, put it all, slap it all together, slap it all, you know, throw the peanut butter and jelly on it, mm. throw the bread on it, you know, it's a sandwich. Peanut butter yeah, sandwich. pretty good. Strawberry jelly. I like that, right? Nah, but seriously, we, we'll be done soon. It's been fucking great. Yeah, Mars just takes a long fucking time, doesn't he? <laughs> nah, Mars, he's it's a perfectionist. Hard. I know, but come but on. Nah, it's not, he's got to move faster. It's not Mars. It's like, <laughs> I'm kidding. we got, you know, everything's mapped out, so you got to right. wait till this date to do this. Yeah, and, yeah, you stuff know, takes but, time, yeah. But no, nah, it, it seems like every shoe every is gets better and better, and it's not just about me, you know? It's about the community. Right. It's about people that I fucking respect. Like, I didn't want to... You can have anybody in your shit, but I wanted people who I wanted in it, right. you know what I mean? So, and... You know, the jewels that everybody's dropping is just fucking phenomenal. And it's giving people a chance to see us outside of lifting weights. Yeah. Well, you I'm know. glad you asked me to be in it since I invested in it. So it was cool. Man. I appreciate <laughs> Executive that. producer. <laughs> That's what's Playing up. shop. But yeah, but um, I'm, I'm, I couldn't be happier with where we are so far, honestly. And people get a lot of my backstory because there's a lot of yeah, talk. Yeah, I know you filmed stuff with your mom and stuff uh, yeah, in New York. Yeah, and yeah. You, yep. I remember you said all that went really well. You mm -hmm. were, really you were real happy with how that went. Yeah, it went to my the, the house I grew up in and, you know, I even found out stuff that I didn't know, you know, from my mom because I was, you know, younger. She don't tell you. Yeah. They don't tell you everything. Yeah, aren't parents wild? <laughs> and then they just the slip, they it just slips out. You're like, wait a minute, what? Excuse me? Yeah, that shit's on another level. So it's cool, though, to learn. But um, but now I'm excited. It's some good shit on there that people have no idea of. It's fucking crazy. And people see, they're going to see all the way back in the day. Because you got, you got to think, me and Mars have been friends for, like, 10, 12 years. Yeah. And he was a videographer since he was like junior high. So you can imagine some Jackson of the. Was junior high? So, like when I met been, Mars, I'm going to tell you off. Yeah, why is Mars real, so jacked? Your jacked. camera guy. Listen, yoked. listen, listen. When, when, um, when I met Mars, is like in 05 or some shit like that. And he was with some other people working on some music videos. And. The thong I just, song? I just checked him out. Like, I like mm. this dude. Like, Let's go. He had, you know, I could tell he worked out. He had a cool sense of style. Like, yeah, it's, I can hang out with this guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we just clicked. And been, Mike's into white dudes that work out just so everybody you know, can paint the right with picture. With good style. With good yeah. style. Yeah. That's you right. know what I mean? So now nah, he always been jacked. So, you know, I need somebody to have my back. You know, shit. You know? <laughs> shit goes down. Shit goes down, baby. If shit goes down, it's the cameras he's going to be worried about. <laughs> yeah, that's right. For real. Get insurance on that shit. And then uh, C.T. Fletcher uh, has a documentary yeah, out, right? Yeah. It's, it's like, I guess it's kind of debuting at the Olympia, right? Yeah, yeah. It's good, man. Like, you got a chance to see it? I didn't see I didn't see it. I seen clips. Okay. And it's some heart, heart touching shit. Cool, you know what man. I mean? I mean, I know his story. It's deep. It goes deep into it. And, you know, it's well, it's, it's well done and... I'm happy for CT because, like, people see what, what they see now, and then they don't see all the shit leading up to it. I mean, even, like, a year before, two years before, you know, the lights, cameras, and action, you know, CT was in, his health was just up and down. Yeah. And he was in there working his ass off, training his clients, and dedicated, like, really fucking training them. I used to get mad at them for still coming in. I'm like, you see he's fucking falling apart. You know what I mean? I used yeah, to, leave him alone. I used to beg him, like, let me fucking train your people. You know what I'm saying? Like, stay home. But he's like, I, I promised him I'd be here. CT is one of the most genuine people I know, you know. So I'm so happy that 
all of the things are going for him that's going for him right now, man. I mean, psh, yeah, he was super cool when we got a chance to hang out with him and we got a chance to talk to him and he kind of maybe talked in a little bit different way than what I've what seen on expect? some other yeah, yeah. channels and stuff. He when, he was like you said, he was extremely uh, genuine. He was extremely kind and he was uh He's inspiring. He's fired up. Like, you know, it's the right, kind of right. guy that you kind of want. Like, once we hung around him for the day and, and lifted with him and stuff, I'm like, this guy's fucking awesome. Like, mm -hmm. I'd love to hang out with this dude yeah. all the time. I used to tell uh, CT's first few videos was with uh, Arash from Strength Pro uh, Project. That's my boy, Arash. Shout out to Strength Project. But I used to get mad. I'd be like, bro, do not fucking make CT to be the fuck you guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. Because that's not who CT is. Yeah. And I feel like um, the beauty of him is seeing that dichotomy of this fucking potentially vehement violent crazy person mm -hmm. this sweet kind yeah. older gentleman you know what i mean so i wanted that to be and he's intelligent as fuck i wanted that to be shown so um i used to be like bro do not fucking try to make him out to be just this right ignorant fucking cussing guy you know and that's it so but you know of course his personality gonna come out regardless <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean and yeah. it, it works out but now nah, i'm just happy it's gonna be dope everybody you going I'm, yeah yeah, yeah at okay, the olympia cool. yeah, yeah it's gonna yeah, be cool. invited to it yeah so um yeah yeah pre-order it on vimeo now and you're gonna be at the olympia right yeah and you're gonna I'm, be I'm competing you might in go? open <clears throat> I'm, I'm projecting to be top three. Me, me, Phil, Kai. You know what I mean? There you go. So, Some kind of order. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Omar Asimov, Olympia, his first Olympia? Maybe? I'm thinking about it. Got oh, no man. You plans. ain't been to the Olympia yet? He hasn't been no. to nothing. No. I went to uh, the Toronto. I actually, I was here when I was down here. Let's <laughs> hold up. Toronto. <laughs> yeah, Toronto. Oh, okay. Shout out oh, Toronto. The Blue Jays. Best in the world. That's the Blue cute. Jays are doing yeah. so good. Yeah. That's cute. Oh, I, I sent some jealousy here. <laughs> These Americans. <laughs> But uh, I went to the Toronto Fit Expo. When I came down here, actually, there's the LA one, and I just skipped that. It's cool. I really like meeting people. Are people are so mad. But, Remember uh, that? Everyone yeah. Where's Elmar? Where's yeah. Ass Muffin? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, I like to have genuine conversations, interactions with fans, and so I make it at any point, like in Toronto, anyone can come to the gym, chill, like grab a session. It's kind of, it's, uh, it's a little too quick. Uh, you can't really get a conversation going. There's just so many people. Yeah. I feel it's kind of like, hey, thanks, hey, thanks, hey, thanks. It's nothing, it's not that it's not genuine. It's just that maybe there's not a connection. Yeah. For me that I saw, and so like I went there for an hour at the Toronto Fit Expo. I'm like, there's just way too many people here. Like just, you get surrounded. So I, I would like to experience it. If I could go there, maybe yeah. experience I'm a, it. I understand what you're saying. I love yeah. it all because these people, you have no idea what a picture would, yeah. What you mean to yeah. him. You yeah. know what I mean? Like when you Yeah, you, Mike you know, does a good job after, with it. He just stands there with sunglasses on, doesn't fucking talk to anybody. After, <laughs> it's like, nah, nah fuck y'all. After a photo. After a, uh, I get a picture? Uh, no. An expo. Uh, you ain't I was shit. looking at all my the pictures yeah. I'm tagging. I'm yeah. like, this is fucking cool. Yeah, no, that's yeah. awesome, you know isn't mean? it? It's yeah, really they cool. Like, yeah. And I'm like, I'm honored. You wanna take let's go. I could be <laughs> eating. Hey, can I take it? Like, yeah, let's go. Right. You know what I mean? So this shit is cool. I feel that. You know? I uh like I, we did uh when we went down to L.A. What I like to do is like Mark actually does this. I stole it from Mark. Oh idea. my god! Is a uh, workshops though, or like just like free seminars? Yeah. Like people come. I feel like I want to just I want to give something that they could take away, like a utility. Like hey, let's take a look at your squat, your bench, your deadlift. What do we got going on right. there? Can we fix something? It's like this kid just increases dead. Like remember some of those kids yeah. the squatting we did. Some kids like hit like 20, 30 pound PRs. Like yeah. that. That yeah. gets me fired up. Well, like, while that is awesome. cool, yeah. a lot of people don't have the time for that. Yeah. And they just want the glancing blow, man. They want to have <laughs> okay. a chance to like shake your hand or grab like your butt and autograph yeah. or whatever. I mean, yeah. the, the nice thing for me is like I was completely not recognizable the first few times I went to yeah. these things. And so it wasn't a big deal. The last one that I went to, what, the Arnold? Or yeah, the Arnold. Arnold, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. That was that was a multiplier on any other thing I've ever. Yeah, encountered. Arnold is crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mike brought a whole fucking marching band into our booth. Hey, because I feel bad. <laughs> like, <laughs> look, <laughs> I'm moving booths. <laughs> yeah, and then it's a line still. He's I don't like, hey, be like, let's all right, go. Mark, I'm like, let's go. Mike comes okay. walking down the aisle, just spreading the fucking. They all came. Yeah, like, yeah fuck a thousand make people follow him in his pipe piper. Yeah. It's fun. They love that shit. Yeah, though, it's right? hella you know? cool. Cameraman, sound guy, Hello. all kinds of shit going on. Hello. Yeah, it's cool, man. It's fucked up, man. You fucked up my booth. So Mike <laughs> Rashid, Omar Asmo, and then Slingshot I can't, I booth, brought, Olympia. I brought them over to buy shit. Breaking news. And y'all was sold out already. Yeah, we were screwed. <laughs> I know. You're not sell us because it's already sold out. Yeah, we were screwed. Yeah, yeah we're going to be fucked at all these shows. 
Are you? Oh, it's fun though. It's fun. It's good shit. It's fun. So y'all uh, want to swap? You said you want to swap booth booth space with me? This hmm? Yeah, hmm? Sure. What you want? Hmm? Hmm? Booths? Cool. Did you say you said booths? See, I he think. says yeah, booths. I think you said booths. I say booth. booth. I think you said booths. <laughs> yeah, you I, I heard both, but you know. Oh, no. oh, you guys, you guys. Oh, no. You guys. Y'all sound, <laughs> y'all sound American. Y'all. Y'all. <laughs> hey. You all. You all. Is there a. Uh, Toronto anybody? people are so proper. So. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. Hey. What's going on? The funniest thing is African American guys doing white guys impersonations. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's we nice. can't. We yeah. have the features. Yeah, you said. Hey. <laughs> that's all you got. Was that a Canadian or uh, all of it? Uh, just a proper, <laughs> straight down the line. You know the the how joke. Doing, uh, how does a white guy tell a joke about a black guy? How? Like this. <laughs> <laughs> For the uh, audio, he looked around around <laughs> him to make sure before he said anything. <laughs> make sure he wasn't uh, being followed. There it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Come on, that was pretty. Fuck it, man. Funny. Two out of t- no. You guys are well spoken. <laughs> I mean, by like, maybe not me, but like the well spoken and well. I think, well I think yeah, you yeah. are well spoken. Thank you. I watch videos and I like. This oh, okay. speak. You're ugly, well. but you can speak all right. Oh, Mike's <laughs> saying this. Okay, thank you. Yeah. He's got the long hair, man. He's got it going on. Mark's the girl at Mark, Starbucks. Mark, Mark is my defender. The girl at Starbucks. Like I appreciate it. that, buddy. She was into it. Hashtag yeah. man bun. That's true. The yeah. Starbucks. Yeah, that we're at. I mean, she's probably in the girls, but that's okay. Yeah, that's all right. I, I don't judge. Hey, no, I got a surprise hey, for her. You, you take it. <laughs> I got a surprise <laughs> for her. Yeah. What was that yeah, a vagina? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what she's expecting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the surprise. Yeah. yeah, a snake in the grass. Yeah, you were thinking there's going to be a penis down there, weren't you? <laughs> got you. Surprise. Oh, were you wrong? <laughs> got him. Yeah. Oh, that guy. Jesus Christ. All right, I think we're fucking done here. All right, all right. Yeah, we're just plug away. Been, been done for about an hour. What's the yeah. YouTube's websites? Hit up uh, my. YouTube is Son Mike with two K's. <laughs> <laughs> you can follow me. Yep. I post vlogs daily. Yeah, they're pretty good. Um, oh, I've heard they're pretty good. Before we drop yeah. off, where how, where did this name Ass Muffin come from? Is this like <laughs> it came a, from you, Mark. Is this a family <laughs> thing? It's been passed down. It's generation fifth, it's fifth generation. Uh, is it Viking or I'm, something? I'm not European, but <laughs> it's, I believe it's uh, <laughs> it's Welsh. Scandinavian. It's no wonder he doesn't want to talk okay. about it. Sense, like, and you're still prototyping the Ass Muffin, right? Aren't you yeah, still working well, on we, it? Yeah, we we plan. So yeah. I I was here last time, and I'm like, Yo, Mark, how about some thirty carbs, thirty grams of fat? Why does Ass Muffin go together? Like, I said, Why? It does. I don't know. Sounds why? good. I don't know why. Because my last name's uh, Esau, and they're like Ass Muff. It's like I said, Mark. How about we do Nisi? And he said, How about we do? Though. Well, I, <laughs> I was called. Uh, I was called by uh, some random like fan I'm downtown. Confused. He was he's fucking like shit face. Oh yeah, what but, did he call you? And so weird, he was, really he was drunk. People can't pronounce because it's like it's not phonetic. Like I S U F. It's Arabic. Esau. It's Esau. You, you never say it on video. That will you can watch any of the videos, and he's like Esau. Like he starts stuttering. Anyways. The the kid was like, oh my god, it's it's Ormer Surf Clam is what he like. It sounded like he said. So everyone, so that's that, I think that's what Mark played on. But yeah. anyways, I was gonna say with Mark that I'm uh, I'm at his place last time back in January. I'm like we're talking like knee sleeves, like what cool things are coming up, and he's like ass muffins. He's like <laughs> think about muffins like that are shaped like asses. He's it's like we're making a killing. Muffin is such a pleasant word to say. Mm-hmm. And ass. What ass about and then you can say you're eating. Top. I said like, what were you eating? I don't like the eating. ass with it. I know where the chocolate would come well, from. It offends people, say, me. Yeah. <laughs> people say it's like you know what were you eating? Like so I was eating ass. Like we Seinfeld, had the tagline. Remember apple, that? Yeah. Yeah. Apple muffin. Seinfeld was trying to do muffin tops only. So ass muffin tops. It would just be tops. We got ass. What were you doing with the muffin tops? They were they were ripping the bottoms out, throwing them away, and just selling the tops because the tops are way. Think about the ass muffin. You're, you're right. Kind of, you're right. Kind of That's spread so true. It, you know? yeah. so true. Spread it and then eat it. No, you know? yeah. you're killing the muffins for me. <laughs> <laughs> Never look at the muffin the same. Apple muffin or some cute. Yeah, yeah. Fritters. Mm-hmm. Or, I don't know. And that's when it becomes the number one seller. It overtakes slingshot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna make a product called ass muffin. Yeah, it's yeah, a muffin yeah. that looks like an ass. Yeah, yeah we're, we're prototyping it. Yeah, and then tagline's gonna be, you know, what please, are you eating? Please ass. don't <laughs> eat, eat more please ass. Don't. Eat more ass. Jim, Jim, <laughs> talk to these guys. Eat, eat the booty. Don't allow this. I got. I'm I telling no Andy. Control. If it's a male ass muffin, there'll be like little balls oh, hanging out. Oh, yeah. oh my! You, you just want to. Oh, oh, oh. I'll, I'll, I'll pass. I'll, I'll, say, yeah, I'll, I'll pass on the ass muffin. I'll take a female ass muffin to go. There's only there's only male ass muffins. Sorry, sir, yes. we're sold out of female. <laughs> I'll take the one with the balls. Hey, you can just rip the balls off and still eat it. Uh, no, no, it I don't think it's the same. Multi-million dollar idea. And then someone releases same. it, 
ahead of us. Someone's going to make them. Yeah, yeah, we say this. Someone's going to fucking yeah. And then they're a millionaire. It's yeah. going to be on That's Instagram. Sorry, we'll take our royalties. First, there was the no. cock salad, and now there's ass muffins. Oh, <laughs> Bam, yep. cock salad. Oh, guys. We had All to get right. that. We had to, you know. We had to slip that in. It is the truth, though. Yeah, had to go down in Fifth generation. We hadn't been outrageous enough. All Family right. heirloom. Hmm. Where were we? Hmm. We're ending it up. Uh, oh, giving shout outs to the uh, Mike. How about you do yours? I, I shouted out mine. I already said Solomon. Like two Ks. <laughs> you can follow me. Follow when me. is this weird baby going to be made between you guys? Follow you guys me on Super out? Training. Oh six. <laughs> oh six. Yeah. I'm about. To, I got a bus of flow though. Oh, you don't do flows no more. What's up, Mark? Oh, I'll, I'll come on, man. I've been here since 06. Come on, man. You gotta. I can work on it. You gotta spit that, I'll get, spit yeah, that I'll fire. Get, I'll get. I'll get it. Where can they find you, Mark? Oh, I don't know. Right here. Nowhere. Oh, right here. You'll still be here. Yeah. I'm always same here. time, same bat channel. Mike, I'm where can here. they find you? Uh, Omar Eastmoth. <laughs> <laughs> dot com. <laughs> Rascal Apparel. This was com. the worst show. Yeah, this one probably. I knew, I knew, I knew the best. Let's right. delete I thought, it. I thought Mike did a good job. I knew when I was coming. I'm like, they must really be out of gas. <laughs> then I'm on. I'm like, I got nothing to say. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. No. We. Had it's a letdown. Yeah. I apologize to anyone that made it this far, hoping there's some nuggets, maybe, maybe of like Janae or like uh, George Lehman. And they're just like nothing good came of this. Yeah, yeah. this was. Mike a, did all right. This I was say nothing. nothing I this is an absolute nothing. disaster of a show. <laughs> yeah, I said it. Yeah, it'll, oh, it'll end a up being a, a photo. <laughs> that's what we like to call a bonus show. A bonus show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Oh yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait. When was that? Taken? I look super happy. I, I just took it. I'm loving you know what You didn't pose. I don't remember. I, don't I just know. took it. When will then be now? I don't know. I don't, <laughs> deep forever. ever? Existentialism. I like those new picture shapes in Instagram. Oh yeah. Sorry, I just do. I All smell right. like shit. Multiply. We squatted like four hours ago. I need to go shower and yeah. sleep. Yeah. You do. Wash, yeah. your, wash your balls. We got to edit that video, buddy. Wash your ass muffin. <laughs> available at, about, scrub available your ass at muffin, how much you bench. Dot net. There you go. How much available you? in different colors, male or female, or gender fluid. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Gender fluid. You got to be yeah, we don't have, Mark, you have to be considerate. Is that the one with the filling? Yeah. The cream? The yeah, it's right fluid. next to the ass muff. The cream and the clear. The gender fluid. Oh, my God. I'll take an ass muff and a chocolate gender fluid <laughs> to go. <laughs> all right. Fuck all you guys. <laughs> <laughs> multiply your hustle. Multiply your muscle. I'm at Mark Smelly Bell on Instagrams and Twitters. May all your shits be tapered. At Silent Mike with two Ks. You heard me. <laughs> no, it's already cut off. Go fucking go it's get it. It's already cut off. Go follow. Uh, I'm Jim Jim unfollow, unfollow Omar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jim McD. STTV Asmuffin.com is not available, by the way. It's not available. I'm Jim McD. STTV on Instagram and Twitter. Follow the show on Instagram at Mark Bell's Powercast. Facebook.com slash Super Training Gym. Twitter at ST Gym Sack. Also Periscope at ST Gym Sack. Later. Mark Bell's Powercast is a production of Super Training Dots.